Good evening, everybody. And uh, today I am going to tell you the most uh, complicated problems, which our students uh, are saying that sir, these are the complicated problems. So I will tell you how to solve them very easily, in an unexpected way. You cannot believe how I can do in such a quick way. Okay. So before that, already I have proved this one, and. Uh, I will do the proof of this one and the rest too you should do and I will do these four simply remember these four formulas and apply in the problems ok so how to apply these problems I will tell you and how quickly you should apply ok so let us see I am doing this one summation n is equal to 1 to infinity n square by factorial n and this can be written as n is equal to 1 to infinity, n square can be written as n into n divided by factorial n. So summation n is equal to 1 to infinity, 1 term will cancel out because factorial n can be written as n into n minus 1 factorial, I can write like this. So n n cancel out, even n by n minus 1 factorial and this can be written as n equal to 1 to infinity, simply write n minus 1 plus 1 divided by n minus 1 factorial. I can write like this. Clear? So see here, summation n is equal to 1 to infinity, n minus 1 by n minus 1 factorial. Clear? Then uh, plus, summation n is equal to 1 to infinity, 1 by n minus 1 factorial. Clear? So, let us see here. This one will become, Summation n equal to 1 to infinity, this to cancel out 1 by n minus 2 factorial plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity, 1 by n minus 1 factorial. So now tell me, if you put n is equal to 1, it will be negative, negative uh, factorial of negative, it is impossible. So you will start from n is equal to 2, that means 1 by n minus 2, 2 minus 2, 0 factorial, then 1 by 1 factorial, 1 by 2 factorial, 1 by 3 factorial, 1 by 4 this is nothing but E. Clear? And this one is also E. Already it is known to you. So the, this is same as this one because if you put n is equal to 1, it is a 1 by 0 factor, then 1 by 1 factor, 1 by 2 factor, and so on. This is E. So E plus E is equal to E, which I have written here. So likewise, you can prove this too. Okay. It will be too slightly lengthy, but uh, you can do. Okay. So now, now I will tell you how to apply these formulas. See here the first one. 1 square into 2 by 1 factor. See here in the summation, some are written, uh, some students are writing n is equal to 1 to infinity, some are writing 1 is equal to 0 to infinity, some are writing n is equal to 2 to infinity. So which one is correct? For the same problem, we can write n is equal to 2 to infinity, n is equal to 1 to infinity, n is equal to 0 to infinity also we can write. Clear? So, I will tell you. 2 square into 3 by factor 2. 3 square into 4 by factor 3. And so on. Now, this can be written as like this. Summation. n is equal to 1 to infinity. I am taking this one. First I did denominator because if it start 1, 2, 3, that means n equal 1. 1 factor, 2 factor, 3 factor, and so on. And if this is 1, this is also 1. If this is 2, this is also 2. If this is 3, this is also 3. So if this is n, so this will be n square. And the second term is 1 more than the first, this one. So this one is 1 more than 2. This one, 1 more than 3. That if it is n, so it will be n plus 1. Clear? If this is 2, this is 2 square. If this is 3, this will be 3 square. If this is n, this will be n square. And if this is 3, this is 4. If this is 2, this is 3. If this is 1, this is 2. So if this is n, this will be n plus 1. Now simply multiply and separate it. I am multiplying and separate it. Clear? n cube by factorial 3. Factorial n, sorry. Then plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity. n square by factorial n. So n cube by factorial n is equal to 1 to infinity. n cube by factorial n is equal to 1 to infinity is 5a. Clear? So plus 
and you can want to include n square by factor n. n square by factor n, it is 2n. So this is 17. Is that clear to you? So you should know, find out the general term, then apply only these four formulas and nothing else. If you if you generalize the given equation, given expression, then it will be very easy for you. See here. Number two. This is this can be written as this starts from two. So n is equal to two to infinity. And if this is two, this is one square. If this is three, this is two square. If this is four, this is three square. That means one square of a number less one less than the denominator square of a number one less than the denominator so this will become n minus one whole square clear see one interesting thing i am going to tell you this one i can write zero plus one plus two plus three plus one can i write or not i can write 0 plus 0 also I can write 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 0 and so on and so we can write. Okay, that will be no problem. So here I can write summation n is equal to 1 to infinity n minus 1 whole square by factorial n. Because if I put n is equal to 1, this will become 0. First term will become 0. Then n is equal to 2 minus 1. It is 1 square by factorial 2. 1 square by factorial 2 which starts from this one. We will put n is equal to 2 minus 1. It is 1, 1 square by factorial 2 and so on. Simply I am adding 0. And simply as, since I am adding 0, I have taken n equal to 1 to infinity. So that will be no problem. Okay. Actually this series starts from 2 and I am adding 0 and uh, on addition of 0, there will be no changes. There will be no changes in uh, the expression and the result. Okay. So n is equal to 1 to infinity. This concept should be clear. You should know the concept of how and why I am writing. Because uh, all my problem starts from n is equal to 1 to infinity. That is why I have converted from n is equal to 1 to infinity. And there is no problem in converting from uh, n is equal to 1 to infinity. That means I am simply adding 0. Okay. So n square n minus 2n plus 1 divided by factorial n. Okay. I am separating. So summation n is equal to 1 to infinity n square by factorial n take 2 outside summation n is equal to 1 to infinity this is n by factorial n then plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity this is 1 by factorial n n square by factorial n square by factorial is 2e minus 2 n by n factorial n by n factorial that means it will become can you tell me n by n factor. Okay, then. What is the answer? See here, if I cancel out summation n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n minus 1 factorial. Now tell me. Here, you are starting from n is equal to 1. So 1 by 1 factorial, 1 by 2 factorial, 1 by 3 factorial and so on. You are starting from 1 by 1 factorial. Here also, if we put n is equal to 1, so it become n equal 1 is there, so 1 by 0 factor, 1 by 1 factor, 1 by 2 factor. That means it is simply e. Clear. So you can add another formula here also. I am taking, I uh, am writing here. So as n is equal to 1 to infinity, n by factor n, it is e. Okay. So you can write here, uh, use it as this one. I have done. n by n factor is uh, e. So minus this one becomes e, so 2e plus 1 by n to n equal to 1 to infinity, this is e minus 1. So minus 2e plus 2 cancel out, remain e minus 1. So this is your answer. So similarly you can do all the problems. Okay, so in the next class I will tell you another application and that is the most important application. And uh, after that your exponential series chapter will be over. Okay, so you can do all the problems from your class 11th book it is given uh, or if you tell me then uh, I will give you the questions in the description ok and uh, try to do all the problems and uh, this one is very important for uh, graduation level for BSc, MSc 
and the net kid etc and in btech also it is very important uh, these are the applications in uh, electrical mechanical and uh, electronics you are facing the exponential series logarithmic series all these things okay so overall it is very important but many students are uh, excluding these chapters they are not doing this sir they are saying that these are not important but uh, these are important in higher studies and without these concepts you cannot do anything in the higher studies in provide also you are applying okay and in many application many topics it is very very important so try to do and try to remember and uh, i have given 8 to 9 videos in exponential series so please check all the videos it will be very very helpful to you i am sure that will be very very helpful for you okay so thank you thank you for watching my class thank you bye bye